Because as the anointing come upon me today, move me to my next level. Lift up your hands after me. Father, by this anointing, move me, Lord, from a good worshiper to an anointed worshiper. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and speak to the Lord. Father, raise a ten name of Zonia. We ask, Father, move us, Lord, from good worshipers, from good singers, from skillful players, to anointed worshipers, to anointed instrumentalists. Move us to the next level, Father. Lambros ketele bara la Zonia. Le shala bara tatele bara la Zonia. Le para la tatene mozonia. Fresh anointing, Father. Fresh anointing, Father. Fresh anointing. Anointing Father, fresh anointing Father, fresh anointing Father, fresh anointing today. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Finally, we are going to pray for our Father. Father, we are going to ask the Lord to anoint Him today. Fresh anointing upon our Father, relevant words through our Father in the name of Jesus. See after me, Father anoint our father in the law fresh anointing fresh grace today in the name of jesus go ahead and speak to the law father we ask for fresh anointing we ask for fresh grace we ask for relevant words we ask the father you use him for your glory today thank you lord in jesus name we have prayed. Please put your hands together to the Lord as we work on the praise team. If you have a testimony, a pastor is waiting for you over there. Hallelujah. Somebody make a joyful noise unto our God. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Wave your hand to him this morning and give him praise. Is the reason why we are here this morning. Somebody wave your hand and thank your father. Speak to your father. Father, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Wave your hand to him. Oh, yeah. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. Hey. No.
of the glory gate to take your testimonies please go there and then share your testimonies and you'll be called to share with God's people lift your hands and let us give God the praise and worship him celebrate Jesus with a clap offering if you can jump jump if you can shout shout Yo! 
celebrate God with a loud shout of praise. You may be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. It is testimony time. Uh, Sister Faith Adejo, you can come for your testimony. Sister Faith Adejo, you come forward for your testimony. Can we go ahead and celebrate God with a clap offering? Our sister Faith Adejo has asked me to take uh, this testimony for her. She said last night she was in the meeting here where God's servant, our father and the Lord said, overnight people were going to be having encounters. And she said in the dream of the night, she found herself in a very long queue, long line, long queue, where God's handmaiden, our mother and the Lord, was praying for people. And according to her, when it got to her turn, our father and the Lord stood up from where he was sitting down and both of them prayed for her and then she fell down under power. And according to her, she's had waist pain that has lasted for seven years. It's been very difficult for her to walk sometimes. She said when the pain comes, she will be rolling on the floor. And according to her, after that encounter last night, she woke up this morning and the, 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 the waist pain that has lasted for seven years disappeared, checked back to hell. She kept on checking herself and the pain is nowhere to be found. And she has come to give God all the glory. Let's go ahead and put our hands together for the Lord.
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering this morning to take us further. We have the following ministers for special ministrations. One, number one, they'll be coming this order. First on my list is D base. Two, God's time from DIGC Joe Central. Third on the list, Abraham Akatu. And followed by Pastor Elijah Oyelade. Go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you be on your feet as we praise God this morning? Please somebody stand on your feet and let's praise God together. Make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for Jesus. Hallelujah.
For you without 
worship that I offer may it provoke you to open the heavens door may the sound of my voice steer your compassion to come and heal the land This worship that I offer May it provoke you, Jesus To open the heaven's door May the cry of my heart Stay your compassion To come and heal the land Men were hungry, you felt it in your heart. Don't let them go away, you said. Let them have a seat. I know what to do. Five loaves and just two fishes. Because of compassion. Because of your love This worship that I offer May it provoke you To open the heaven's door May the sound of my voice Stay your compassion to come and heal my life Everything is possible Everything is possible Nothing is hard for you Lord you are reliable Everything is possible Everything is possible 
impossible. Nothing is hard for you. Lord, you are reliable. My heart is bleeding for your help. My heart is seeking for your grace. Because nothing is hard for you. Lord, you are reliable. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Nothing is hard for you. Lord, you are reliable. Can you just keep the look? Na 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 na. Your decision is the final say. Lord, your word is working wonders. When you speak, there is no other say. You are God of a time over the universe. When you talk, you do what you say is as good as accomplished. Everywhere we Father, we love you this morning. 
Somebody lift up your hands. Let's worship Jesus. The scripture says, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the people shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's. And he is the governor amongst the nations. You are the Alpha and Omega. The creator of the heavens and the earth. Stay our hearts to worship you. Dear Lord, until your people flood the earth. You are the Alpha and Omega, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Stay our hearts to worship you. Dear Lord, until your people flood the earth. Be glorified, Jesus, believe today. Let your glory fill the earth. Let all the nations worship you. For you are the Lord of all. Oh, the beauty of your grace. What a sacrifice that you gave your life for all. Let the nations come to you. In worship as a trophy of your blood. Oh, the beauty of your grace. What a sacrifice that you gave your life for all. Let the nations come to you in worship as a trophy of your blood. Be glorified, Jesus, believe today. Let your glory, let your glory fill the earth. Let all the day nations worship you, for you are the Lord of all. Let all the day nations worship you, for you are. The Lord of all. The Spirit of the Living God. The River of Life. The Spirit of Truth. Take your place. Spirit, move. The Spirit of the Living God. The River of Life. The spirit of truth Take your place Spirit move My helper, my strength, my deliverer My helper whoa, whoa. Take your place Spirit move Just like on the day of Pentecost, like the mighty rushing wind. Whoa, take your place, 
spirit move. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place, Spirit, pray. Pray to the Father. Spirit, pray. There is a cry in my heart that my words cannot express. There is a yearning in my spirit that I cannot communicate. Spirit, hear the voice of my heart. Pray. To the Father, Spirit, pray, pray to the Father. Oh, Salaman, I don't There is a depth in the waters that my heart longs for. There are rains of the spirit beckoning on me spirit hear the voice of my heart pray to the father spirit pray pray to the father spirit take control Spirit of your way. Spirit take control. Spirit take control. Spirit of your way. Spirit take control. Spirit take control. Have your way, Spirit, have your way. Fill this place with your fire, Spirit, take control. Spirit, have your way. Spirit, have your way. In this place, take control. Spirit, take control. Take control, spirit take control. Spirit have your way.
you may be seated in the name of Jesus. We'll be proceeding right away to receive the ministry of Dunami's voice as they take us further in the service this morning and then God's servant will be coming up. And I believe that without a shadow of a doubt, somebody's life and destiny shall be transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have an offering that you've brought before the Lord, the Bible says none shall appear before him empty. You've come into his presence. It's time for us to package that offering neatly and then we'll be lifting it up in the presence of the Lord. You have it ready. Can you lift it up with a shout of praise? Father, receive this of our hands. And may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anybody excited here this morning? You believe God is going to move you to the next phase of your life and destiny. And giving you the sound of victory. God is about to transform you. Let's receive Dunami's voice with a clap offering this morning in the name of Jesus.
more time. Let the fire, let the fire. One more time. Let the fire, 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 the fire, let the fire, let the fire, Let's appreciate it. Lift your hands, worship. up your hands everywhere you are. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration for this morning. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. We ask that you'll breathe upon this service this morning. That not one person will live here the same way they have come. We look up to you and we know we are here. Be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Welcome everyone here today to this very heavy and very intense presence of God. I believe that not one person will live here the same way they have come in Jesus' precious name. Psalm 89 verse 20 said, I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Speaking briefly on the subject, ministering with the oil, ministering with the oil, that is ministering under the anointing. We want to understand what happens when a person ministers with the oil, not without. We also want to understand what it takes to minister with the oil. People who minister are many, but people who minister with the oil are few. There are Christian musicians, there are musicians that are Christians, But there are very, very few ministers of song. But even among these ministers of song, those who minister are many, but those who minister with the oil are few. 
There are some who start with the oil and later on end without it. So you begin to wonder, I used to listen to this person. I used to, this person, I used to hear him. In those days, if he spoke, it, it impacted you. In those days, if he sang, nobody will, nobody, the whole place just stares up. What changed? I've had time to discuss with my wife, and I said, what happened? Did this person reduce? Did, did, did something drop? There was someone I used to listen to many, many, many years, maybe 25, 26 years ago, very heated praise and musicians. About a year ago, he gave me a CD to listen to, and I could not list him past the first track. It was full of dryness and noise. So there are those who start with the oil. At the beginning, you knew that the hand of God was on them. But suddenly, you don't know what happened anymore. This applies to ministers of the word and ministers in song. I knew a man. In those days, if he began to speak, it was as if he was a lion. That is physically. His face changes on the spot. Sometime later, I heard him. And I was so shocked. Just genuinely shocked. What was coming from his mouth was less in impact than classroom lecture. Less. What does it take? Now, what is, what happens when a person ministers with the oil? Number one, ministering with the oil is ministering under the influence of the spirit and not in the energy of the flesh. It is ministering under the influence of the spirit, not in the energy of the flesh. First Samuel chapter 16 and in verse 13. Then Samuel took Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came So when we say a person is ministering with the oil he is ministering under the influence of the spirit not in the energy of the flesh. What we do with the flesh only produces temporal results. What does it mean to minister with the oil? Number two, ministry with the oil is ministering with heavy impact and outcome. When a person ministers with the oil, the impact is heavy. The outcome is mercy. And this includes whether it is a minister in the word or a minister in song. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God who was with him. Ministry with the oil is ministry with heavy impact and outcome. Thirdly, ministry with the oil is ministering under the guidance and direction of the Spirit. Under the guidance and direction of the Spirit. First John chapter 2 and in verse 20 said, We have an unction from the Holy One and we know all things. That unction is the, is the anointing, is the, is the Holy Spirit. It's the same as the, as the oil. 
we have an unction and we know all things. When you minister with the oil or with the anointing, you are ministering under the guidance and direction of the spirit. The, 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 the right song to sing per time. The, 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 the right theme to approach per time. What is appropriate for the moment? What is appropriate for the moment? Number four, ministering with the oil is ministering with freshness. Fresh. Every time people encounter you, there is something fresh. Something fresh about what you have to offer. In Psalm 92 verse 10, he said, My horn has shall thou and shalt thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn. I shall be anointed with the oil of freshness. With fresh oil. Ministry with the, with the oil. is ministry with freshness. There is something fresh about what you do. There is something fresh about your ministry of the world. There is something fresh about your ministry in songs. There is something fresh about you. There are those who began fresh but ended stale. Just stale. They become very, very stale. Become very, very outdated. They begin to just recycle and recycle. Number five. Ministry with the oil is ministering to remove burdens and destroy yokes from the lives of the people. You minister to destroy, to remove burdens and destroy yokes from the lives of the people. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 said, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Ministry. To remove yokes. To, dis to remove burdens and destroy yokes. That is, you are not just talking. Yokes are breaking. You are not just singing. Burdens are lifted. You are not just ministering. Things are happening. Ministering. To remove burdens and destroy yokes from the lives of people. Number six. Ministry with the oil. Is ministering with full potentials release. Full potentials release. The man of the oil, the man who carries the oil, the man who carries the oil, the man who carries the oil cannot, has potentials that can't be caged. In 1 Samuel chapter 10 and in verse 1. 1 Samuel, then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? And then in verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you shall prophesy with them and you shall be turned into another man. And all those signs came upon him. Go on. Verse 10, they're about. And when they came to that to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him, and the Spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied. The oil came upon him in verse 1, and the potentials came out of him in verse 10. When you minister in the energy of the flesh, your potentials are limited. When you minister without the anointing, your potentials are limited. There are times when you yourself, you know that you can fly higher than what you are doing now. You know that you can move higher than what you are, how you are moving now. But something seems to be limiting you. Ministry with the oil is ministry with full potentials release. Number seven. Ministering with the oil is ministering 
unto the Lord. Ministering unto the Lord. There are three categories of people here where ministry is concerned. There are those who minister but nobody is touched. Second, there are those who minister people are touched. And third, there are those who minister God is touched. <laughs> there are those who bless nobody with their ministration there are those who bless people with their ministration and there are those who bless God is that possible? yes I will bless the Lord at all times Psalm 34 and in verse 1 his praise shall continually be in my mouth. That was David the man who carried the oil. Not just blessing people, but blessing the Lord. Acts chapter 13 and in verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord. They ministered to the Lord. Not just to people now, but to the Lord. And fasted. The Holy Ghost said. In 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13 and 14, the, 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 the trumpeters and the priests, they ministered until God was not just touched, God moved. God moved and filled the house with his glory. Isn't that exciting? After service, somebody said to somebody, I was so blessed by that service today. And then it is God who is speaking. I was so blessed. Is God himself. Uh, that, that, that blessed me. That, that touched me. That, that brokenness of, of, of worship. That brokenness of that inspired teaching that rescued many souls from hell moved me. I believe that the ultimate is not that men will clap for us but that God will be moved by what we do. This is ministering with the oil. It is ministering under the influence of the spirit, not in the energy of the flesh. Ministering with heavy impact and outcome. It's ministering under the guidance and direction of the Holy Spirit, is ministering with freshness. It's ministering to remove burdens and destroy yokes from the lives of people. It is ministering with full potentials release. It is ministering unto the Lord. What does it take to minister with the oil? Number one, it takes, it takes, number one, ministering from the place of intimacy with God. Ministering from the place of intimacy with God. Where you are, a man, a woman that is intimate with God. You are not a stranger with him. Standing in his presence equals standing in the oil. Standing in his presence equals standing in the oil. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 14 talks about the two anointed. Two anointed. Two anointed. Then said he, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. As they stand by the Lord of the whole earth, they stand in the oil. So it is ministering, it takes ministering from the place of intimacy. There are those who are strangers to God who are trying to release the resources of God to people. It doesn't work that way. Number two, it takes number two, ministering from the depth of the knowledge of God. From the 
depth of the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God is a commander of power. A commander of power and unction. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 said that I may know him and the power. To know him is to know power. To know him is to know the oil. Ministering from the depth of the knowledge of God. And the truth is, the deeper your knowledge of God, the stronger the oil you carry. The deeper your knowledge of God, the stronger the oil you will walk in. Nobody carries oil by accident. People carry oil to the degree of their knowledge of God that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the truth of the matter is the deeper your knowledge of God, the deeper your thought. The deeper, the deeper your thought. It affects the depth of thought, depth of reasoning. The deeper your knowledge of God, the deeper the message you preach. The deeper your knowledge of God, the deeper the content of your song. Someone told me, she said she told someone that if you want to know the secret of me, that's if anybody wanted to know my secret, they should just listen to the songs. Because you can't sing higher than your depth. You can't minister higher than your realm. Ministering from the place of intimacy. Number two, ministering from the depth of the knowledge of God. Number three, ministering from the heart and life of worship. A heart and the life of worship pulls the oil. You can never take people to where you haven't been. You can never raise worshippers if you are not a worshipper. You can never take people into worship if you are not in worship yourself. The heart and the life of worship compels the oil. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 3. David is speaking. He said, it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. He's singing. And all the things we call psalms are all songs. Uh, uh, and to sing praise unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. And thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings. And upon the psaltery. Upon the harp with a solemn sound. After he has sung like that. And worshipped, he moved to verse 10. Then he said, my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn i shall be anointed with fresh oil fresh worship equals fresh oil it is not possible to lack oil if you don't lack worship fresh worship equals fresh oil you cannot lack oil if you don't lack worship it's ministering from the heart and life of worship. Number four is ministering for his glory alone. You want the oil of God on your life, you minister from his glory for his glory alone. You are not ministering for applause, you are not ministering to be clapped for. You minister for his glory alone. A desperate passion for his glory pulls the oil. Don't forget what I'm about to say. The power of God goes where the glory of God is secure. The power of God goes where the glory of God is secure. The anointing of God is available anywhere the glory of God is secure. Where the glory will not be tampered with, there the 
power will be found. Psalm 63 verse 3 talked about verse 2. To see thy glory, uh, to see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen in a sanctuary, if you want to see his power, you must secure his glory. You want to see his power, you must secure his glory. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Matthew chapter 6 verse 13. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Anywhere the glory of God is secured, the power of God is in place. Very, very important. When you are coming, some people say, when I stand to preach, uh, I'm a bit jittery, or I want to sing, I'm a bit jittery, I'm fearful and timid. And, and some people like counsel, I say, just, just look away from the people and just behave like you are talking to one person. Just ignore the crowd and face the one you came to worship. All right? Just face him squarely and do everything you are doing as unto him. Uh, and then let, the, then let the crowd follow later. Let his glory be paramount. Let his glory be paramount. Let his glory be paramount. And he won't beg for his anointing. He won't beg for his oil. Just like we said, the will of God is answered prayer waiting to be prayed. The power of God is available resource for the one who will secure the glory of God. I told you the story some time ago when I went to fast and pray and God told me what you are looking for is not hard, but will you secure my glory? And I prayed for seven days in that prayer, Lord help me to secure your glory. So ministering for his glory alone will facilitate ministering with the oil. Number, 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 number five is ministering from the place of death. That is death to self. Ministering from the place of death. Death to self. Except a corn of wheat fall to the ground and dies. It abides alone. But if it dies, John chapter 12, verse 24, it bringeth forth much fruit. Ministry from the place of death. Moses cried to God, if I have found favor with you, show me your glory. I think that was Exodus 33 from verse 18. And God said, no man can see my glory and live. You know the meaning of that? You can see my glory if you agree to die. You can see it if you, if, you, if you agree to die. If you agree to die, you can see my glory. You can see my glory. You can see the oil. You can see the anointing. How many of you know what was used to compound the anointing oil in the Old Testament? They call it the art of the apothecary. You have pure olive oil. And inside that pure olive oil, you have ingredients inside mix. One of it is called cassia. One of it is called calamus. The third is called cinnamon. But there is a fourth one which is called the mar. M-I-R-R-H. The same mar that was brought when Jesus was born. A mar is a bitter herb. That is used for the embalmment of dead bodies. Embalmment of dead bodies. So when he was putting the oil, putting the mare inside the oil, he was saying that this is to be anointed, put place on dead men. No wonder God told Moses, upon man's flesh shall this oil not be poured. So when the wise men came, the wise men came to give Jesus the gifts, they also brought what should prepare him for death. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? There is nothing that is an accident in scripture. Everything is symbolic and significant. Why should he put what you use to embalm dead bodies inside anointing oil? 
except that if you want the oil to function, you must agree to die. You must agree to die. You must, you must, you must allow that Arab to go. Around, uh, uh, that, that tendency for ostentation. Every nature in you that is anti-God must die. That is, every time you stand, people should no longer see you. They should, they should see beyond you to see the one. Paul the Apostle says, I am crucified with Christ. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Nevertheless, I live yet not I. But Christ lives in me and the life I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. The greatest enemy of the anointing is the intact flesh. Arrogant flesh. Ostentatious flesh. Braggadocious flesh. We don't have numerical statistics for our crusade. And we deliberately decided not to have. How many people gathered at Jalingo crusade? I don't know. What can be the estimate? I can't tell and I don't want to tell. We had a crusade in Otupo in Bering State and a guest minister was in, 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 invited. And he said, this must be up to a million people. And I said, I don't know, sir. He said, what can be the estimate? I said, I can't estimate, sir. Because I... Exaggeration cannot make God bigger than who he is. I don't want to say anything that amounts to exaggeration. Are you following what I'm saying here today? And it's going to continue. It's going to continue. We don't have an offering. We don't have a, 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 a numerical account. We don't have any. I don't, I, I'm not interested. I'm interested in knowing how many souls were saved. <laughs> All right? How many people were saved? I'm okay with that one. But how many people gathered? I'm not interested. Let Jehovah know how many people gathered. Somebody say loud amen. All those, any of those tendencies that make a man want to be like God must die if the oil must flow. You know, Lucifer was the archangel of music. And you know what brought him down was pride. And that same factor is a major factor in the music ministry today. Eh? You don't understand what I'm talking about. Lucifer. There is no musician on earth that is like Lucifer. He was created with precious stones. We were created from the dust of the earth. Instruments of music were wired inside his body. Tabres, pipes. If he flapped his wing, it was music. He was perfect in his ways until pride was found in him. I will become like the Most High. I will ascend the size of the Lord. I will become like the Most High. I will ascend. I, 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 five times. In Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12. I... For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne. I will sit upon the mount of the condition in the size of the Lord. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Abba. Abba. The car wants to become like the owner. The created wants to become the creator. And God removed him from there. And today, giftings have a way of lifting people's heads. And that is to their destruction. Calm down. Remember where you are coming from. Remember that you are nothing without God. Remember that if God, if God should take his hand off you, you are, you are a wretched man. Paul the Apostle said, oh wretched man that I am. You 
ministering with the oil is ministering from the place of death. If you can remain little or nothing in your eyes and remain like that permanently. Try to invite some people sometime and I was told that those people will give you a shadow. Not just how they will come, but this is what should be for breakfast. This kind of juice at this kind of time. And this one will come up at this kind of time. And then by so and so times, this should happen. And then that schedule for long. Even if it was God you wanted to invite. God has never given anybody a condition. That is, Lord, we are looking for you, all right? You are looking for me, get set, because you cannot handle me. You cannot handle, get, just get set, just get set. You, you, you need to gather enough money to be able to handle me. And I said, if that is how to do it, then I won't do it forever. I've flown all the way from here to South Africa, here to Germany, here to different parts of the world at my own expense, went, preached, and returned back by myself. And the people who invited me, some of them, as if they didn't know that when you invite somebody, you, you, you honor him, or you even find out what is his airfare, as if they didn't know. The other one waved us by at the airport. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And there is no qualms. I went to university some time ago to preach, and then the students came. I flew from here there. The students came and brought an envelope. When I looked at the envelope, I realized that there's no need to collect this envelope because it doesn't do anything. It cannot even fare me one way. So I returned it back to them. And I said, I sow it back to you people as a seed. I flew myself back. You know what God told me on my way? He said to me, they didn't employ you. He said, you are in my employment. And they cannot pay you. I will pay you. And pay was waiting for me at home. And God has not stopped paying. And what he pays, man can't pay. I want you to work for God. Not for people. I want you to be in his employment. And the time will come. When people will be shocked at what God will use to pay you. Am I communicating at all? Very, very important. The only way not to miss where you are going is to remember where you are coming from. Do you hear what I just said? The only way not to miss where you are going is to remember where you are coming from. Where did God bring me out from? Ministering from the place of death and that is death to self. Finally, is ministering in righteousness. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 8. Let thy garments be always white and let your head lack no ointment. If your head will not lack ointment, ensure your garment is white. Exercise the conscience to be void of offense toward man and towards God. Apply for grace not to live in perpetual offense with God and yet to remain perpetually standing in front of him. Receive grace. There are many who are ministering but they are no longer Christians. Did you hear what I just said? They are no longer, conscience has died. They are not Christians at all. What makes a Christian is the inward witness. 
For the Spirit himself bears us witness that we are the sons of God. I think that will be Romans chapter 8 verse 14. The Spirit himself bears us witness that we are, okay, for as many as are led, the Spirit himself bears us witness. Trace it in that same chapter there. That we are the sons of God. For the Spirit himself, verse 16, bears us witness with our spirit. When that witness is gone, you do wrong things, you don't feel anything. And it's normal. Then the person has ceased being a child of God. He has ceased. But that will never be your portion. Exercise the conscience. And ensure that you remain a Christian. So you can minister with the oil. This morning, I am trusting that oil from heaven will come on you. Not just oil from the bottle. The one in the bottle is just a point of contact for the one from heaven. Stand up on your feet. Lift up your hands and honor him. Just worship him. Honor him, adore him. Begin to op open your mouth and begin to talk to him. Trust him for oil. Trust him for grace. First of all, thank him for the word you received this moment. Honor him for the word you received this moment.
your hands everywhere you are. And say after me and say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today to ask for the oil, to minister with the oil, to minister under the influence of the Holy Spirit, to minister with heavy impact. To minister with guidance and direction. 
to minister with freshness to minister to remove burdens and destroy yokes to minister with full potential release to be able to minister unto the Lord help me Lord to be located at the place of intimacy with you help me to know you like never before help me to minister from a heart and life of worship help me to minister for your glory alone help me to minister from the place of death to self help me to minister in righteousness i receive that grace now in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray that in your life your master in Jesus precious name you have your bottle of oil you can carry and if you don't have I'm sure someone next to you will assist you watching online and everywhere you are remain connected similarly While we are in this process, anyone who is in need of surrender to Jesus, you want your sins forgiven, you want today to mark a new day for you, quickly, step forward and let's pray for you in the course of this anointing session. You want your sins forgiven, you want Jesus to be Lord over your life, you want today to mark a new day for you, quickly, step forward. All right, that is the man from Asaba. What of your brother and your father? I'm sure they will be at the night vigil too. Yes, because I'll be praying for you. That's the man with the spirit of insanity for 15 years that God healed. And he's also a keyboardist who played in that crusade after his healing. Let's just say, how have you, has, has it been? Very fine. So I'll be praying for you all in the night vigil tonight. Okay, pray this prayer after me. Those of you in the front who have come to surrender their life to Christ, quickly do so. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you today to surrender my life to you. Forgive me my sins, Lord. Today, I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. From today, I go forward ever backward never thank you lord in jesus name amen i pray for you today i declare that the hold of sin be broken off your life i declare grace to live for god released upon you in jesus precious name amen remain there as we take the anointed lift up the oil in your hand Dusty, oh, dusty. Your grace has found me, just as I am. Empty-handed, but alive in your hand. 
singing majesty majesty singing majesty majesty forever i am changed forever oh lord Sing in majesty, Ma majesty. Sing in majesty, majesty. Your grace has found me. Your grace has found me. It has found me just as I am. Empty handed. Sing in majesty. Forever I am changed. Forever I am changed by your love. In the presence. In the presence of your fresh oil that this will become the beginning of impact in your life the influence of the spirit the impact of the spirit, the guidance and direction of the spirit will be heavy upon your life. Freshness. Capacity to destroy, remove bodies and destroy yokes. Full release of mantles and potentials. Ability to minister to the Lord. Grace for intimacy with God. Grace for deeper knowledge of God. Fresh garment and mantle of the worshiper. Ministering capacity to minister for his glory alone. Grace to minister from the place of death to self. Grace to function in righteousness is released through this oil today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Father, touch somebody, change somebody, deliver somebody, liberate somebody. Let this be the new beginning, a transition into something brand new, completely unique. In the name of Jesus. Take a little of the oil in your hand.
Lift your hands high. Use this to tell God whatever you want this oil to do in your life beyond what we have said so far. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, lift the hands high now. Father, let it flow. Reach it high. to die. Let the fire from the throne let it flow. 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 Let the fire.
Jesus, lead the hand high. Father, let the fire flow. Let the fire flow. Let the fire flow. Let that oil flow. Let that oil flow. At the count of five, you place it on your head and scream, I receive. And then it will flow. That's right. Maha Shadada. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, four. Are you ready? Again, one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let it flow, let it fire from the truth. Father, thank you. God has done something, just wave your hands and give him the praise. Different parts of people's lives have been touched. Divine encounters, bodily healing. Somebody's kidney on the right hand side has just been healed, right kidney healed. Somebody's left knee is healed also. God has given people some drastic impartation in the area of music as well. He has given people impartation in the garment of worship. Something dropped, diverse things dropped. There is restoration of graces and giftings that happened this morning. Father, thank you. Thank you and thank you in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a praise, counselors. Maybe you can make this to sit here. Take your seat. Just one minute will be true in a moment. Hallelujah. Praise God. You had a healing in your body or a touch or something? Can you indicate and let us know quickly within this interval? Yes, quickly. Step forward. And take two or three or four. Give the Lord the praise. Thank you, Master. Yes, come, come, come. What happened to you? Sir, immediately you stop ministration and uh, you pick your this thing. God just opened my eye and in that encounter, and I see that people are being delivered, as in there is, a, there is a, an angel that appeared. He was pouring anointing on the people. And immediately I saw the kingdom of darkness. They are being roasted to ashes. And after that, deliverance takes place in the church. Some people, the chain is on their leg that hold them not to be able to move fast. But all those chains have been broken. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. A bigger, bigger clap of hand. Every yoke and every body and every bondage and everything that came with you here today, broken. In Jesus' name. Lift up your right hand. I pray for you today. And I decree the touch of God. Somebody's right fallopian tube also has been operated on. Blocked tube on the right hand side. Is there anyone who came in here and they told you that your fallopian tube is blocked and the right one? Ooh. Ooh. Right fallopian tube. Right, and here, lift your hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Stand over here, lift your hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands everywhere you are. Lift your hands. Somebody who injected in the night on the right buttock with pain in that right buttock. Are you nearby? Injected in the night on the right buttock with pain. On that right, lift your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, that arrow returns back to hell. Go. In the name of Jesus. When? The right to talk this last night. Step over here. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, I prophesy, I decree today, everyone with any deposit of hell, any arrow from the pit of hell that has been fired into your body in the night, in the day, consciously, unconsciously, they are retrieved and refired back to senders. In the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Take your time, invite your friends, invite your loved ones. It is going to be a most unusual night such as we have never had before. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. For everyone who is watching all around the world, we expect to see you over flooding this place tonight. Don't be afraid of heat, it's handled. You haven't seen anybody fanning themselves. 
because one of the challenges we have in night vigils is that almost half of the people will be outside because they are complaining of heat on the gallery or heat somewhere. That is deleted by God's mercies. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Also, the bus transportation routes and terminals will be scrolling on Dunamis TV for easy location and pickup for the vigil tonight. Where the bus routes are and the locations and the pickup points, the terminals will be scrolling on Dunamis TV. And I'm sure if we can do that on Facebook also and also on our media platforms so that people can know where to pick up those vehicles. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The youth convention commences next week in the days of your youth. And it's going to be explosive. People are coming from everywhere to be impacted during this summer ahead of their resumption um, in September. September. Somebody say amen. Anybody blessed so far this morning? Lift up your hands. Well, as we do this, all first timers and newcomers, step forward and let's receive you. Today is your first time in Dunamis Church. You haven't been here before. For the rest of us, be released now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The Lord bless you and keep you. Can I hear louder? Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and the Lord be gracious unto you from this day and forevermore. And the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God and the fellowship of the Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely his goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Shout the loudest. Amen. See you by 9.30 p.m. tonight as we commence the most explosive worship, media worship in his presence. God bless you. Celebrations as they proceed. Dono si, dono si, da onya mi no si. Every song, oh yeah, na na do, da so. Dono si, dono si, da onya mi no si.